Hey kids, time for another hot steamy load of knowledge dripping down your neck and chest. Today, we're going to talk about the greatest mind to ever live. Nope, not him. Nope, keep trying. Who I'm really referring to is the ancient Greek philosopher known as Diogenes of Sinope. Diogenes followed the school of thought known as cynicism. Far from the yelling at CNN, sitting down during the pledge kind of cynicism we know today, cynic philosophy centers around the rejection of conventional desires in favor of a simple, moderate lifestyle. But while many philosophers made a virtue out of self-discipline, Diogenes took all that to a whole new level. He was the most down-to-earth guy out there. Literally, he lived on the ground, in a big tub in the marketplace where he'd beg for a living. For a while, his only possession was a wooden bowl, until one day he saw a child drinking out of his hands, and he was like, pfft, what do I need this shit for? Now, though his way of life and perspective was unique enough, it's the way Diogenes showed it that really set him apart from the rest. When someone today wants to go against society, they dye their hair blue and make a blog post about how there aren't any obese women of color in Super Smash Bros. On the other hand, when Diogenes has something to say, he just jerks off in public. Takes a dump in the amphitheater, pisses on passerby, whatever. The way he saw it, he was just performing much needed bodily functions while also protesting the superficiality of the civilization around him. Keep in mind, though he was an unwashed, publicly defecating homeless man, that's not all he was. His wit was easily on par with his philosophical contemporaries, and his lack of inhibition meant that everyone knew it. For example, here's an often pondered question of the day. How do you define a human in the simplest of terms possible? Plato decided to tackle this question, and he came up with featherless biped. And in the ancient Greek world, they didn't have any kangaroos or gibbons or nothing, so people were the only things around that both walked on two legs and didn't have feathers. Plato thought he was real clever with that one. Diogenes, on the other hand, he wasn't having any of it. So he said, all right, you pompous prick, I'll give you a featherless biped. So in reality, we do not learn. And what we call learning is only a process of recollection. <laughs> oh god damn it, not you again. What's up fuckers? Hey, check out this person I found. Isn't it such a human? Look at him, wow. What a guy. Anyway, love to stay in chat, but I saw some trash outside that looked delicious. Smell you later, deliberator. Yes, my student. Yeah, uh, what the fuck? Here's another anecdote. Macedonian King Alexander was a big fan of Diogenes, so he decided to pay him a visit. And he said, hey man, big fan. If there's any favor I can do for you, anything at all, just let me know, I'll make it happen. Now to put this into perspective, this is Alexander we're talking about. The guy who had his cousin straight up assassinated so he could take the throne. The guy who would later go on to conquer the majority of the civilized world. And you know what Diogenes says? He goes, yeah, you can do me a favor. Move over, you're in my light. Wow, I'm just, I'm not even mad. You really are just a legend. Diogenes lived up to the ripe old age of 89. I don't know if that's a testament to his lifestyle or if he just got lucky, but either way, if there is a god, he definitely has a sense of humor. The exact cause of Diogenes' death varies depending on which source you look at. Some say he died from an infected dog bite. Others say it was from eating raw octopus. My favorite theory is that one day he just got tired of living, and he just held his breath till he died. He left behind instructions on what to do with his body after he passed. Now when people think of special post-mortem instructions like these, they usually think, Scatter my ashes at 6.53 a.m. off the western face of Mount Rainier using my grandfather's favorite ladle. None of that with Diogenes, he kept it simple. In the words of Danny DeVito, When I'm dead, just throw me in the trash! Specifically, he wanted his body tossed into the wild so animals could feast on him, thereby giving back to the earth what little he took from it. So kids, moral of the story, don't judge a book by its Cover. The man who appears to be nothing more than a shit-smeared babbling vagrant could actually be the wisest man you'll ever meet. Or he could really just be a raving fucking lunatic. Bring a knife, just in case. Anyway, till next time, I'm Sam Manella, and thank you for watching.